Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News episode 41 and today's episode I'm going to show you guys how to set up and configure uh, Backtrack Linux. Um, it's a cool operating system that I was introduced about I'll say a year ago by a friend of mine that's really into security. Um, the way that I used this operating system was when we implemented um, wireless into our network we've broken down into two sections corporate and regular users and I want to know what what people were using the corporate uh, internet um, and there was a way that I was gathering pictures and IP addresses of who or what they was going you know what uh, websites they was going and I was able to see the pictures and everything it's, it's really cool but for this this episode I'm going to show you guys how to get it up and running you can go to www uh, backtrack-linux.org uh, go to the downloads section uh, you can either register and download that's up to you guys when you can just hit download and right now they only have three sections uh, I downloaded I already pre-downloaded already on my desktop but I'm just showing you guys where to get it I downloaded the latest and greatest which is uh, backtrack 5 r2 now I forgot what operating system I downloaded which is pretty bad 32-bit. <laughs> um, you can download it as an ISO. And, well, uh, Backtrack 5R2 only has ISO format. It is either a torrent or a direct download. It's, it's a pretty huge file, so depending on your internet uh, speed, it's going to take a while. Uh, I think R, R1 and regular 5 has a VM prepackaged virtual machine, so you could do it that way. Um, I think five only only on the 32 bit has a virtual machine so once you click on download you download it uh, you're good to go um, you got to burn it into a CD and if you have a physical physical box you can do it that way uh, I'm gonna do it through VM workstation and I'm gonna create a new virtual machine hit next do that next and it's a Linux it's a Linux box and let's say it's other Linux 2.4 kernel 64 bit. Let's actually do this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see what's other. Actually, I could just do other 64 bit. And hit next. Let's give it a name. I'm going to go to BJ uh, Backtrack. And I'm going to. Specify a location on where I want the stuff to drop. Be dropped. Okay. Ooh, it does. Oh, oh, yeah, it does. Sorry. Uh, that one. There we go. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna give it. Let's give it 20 gigs. Uh, the memory is pretty low, so I'm gonna configure the memory. Let's give it uh, 1024, so that gives it a gig. Awesome. And let's go to edit. CD. Let's point to that CD that I have on the ISO that I have on the desktop. Open. Yep. Okay. And let's power it on. Again, if you guys do in download the VMware, uh, it's pretty simple. It's not that hard to do. Okay. Uh, there we go. Just hit enter. Once you hit enter, you got a, a bunch of options here. You could do hard drive boot. It boots there. Uh, I believe. Well, the last time that I did this, I haven't done this for a while, so. I think it would be backtrack test is the one that you want to get into. Text, I mean, sorry about that, guys. It loads up. I love the motto. The motto is really awesome. The quieter you become, the more you're able to hear. That's pretty awesome. Um, I believe if you do a start, 
X command uh, start X command it will allow you to get into the graph uh, the graphical user interface the uh, GUI and this is where you want to go now you can run it off as is uh, again backtrack was basically made to be stealth mode um, you're able to put the CD in boot up into the CD do what you need to do input you know get into the network and uh, penetrate whatever you need to do get the information and you're out without leaving any trace so right now if I'm hacking away right now and doing whatever I need to do get the information and I shut down this virtual machine that's it it's done the ISO is done the, everything is erased now if you physically want backtrack to be installed into this machine uh, just double there's a shortcut right on the desktop install backtrack I'm, I'm gonna physically install this into this machine uh, English forward Okay, pick the time zone. I'm in the United States, New York. It does it in military time. Forward. Suggest options, key layouts, only seven steps. So just breeze through it. Uh, yep, erase the, erase the virtual machine, or you can partition it if you want. I'm going to erase the entire disk. Don't need it. And brief summary and hit install. Okay. It does this thing. Once it does this thing again, it's it's physically installed into your machine. Whatever you do, please make sure that you erase all that data so you won't it won't come back to you. Um, is a is a cool it's a cool little operating system. Is is something that you can put under your belt to learn. Um, again, I'm gonna have more episodes in this. I gotta try to remember some of the cool things that I did with backtrack especially with the wireless thing I know you guys are probably interested in that and how I was able to capture live images as well as um, pinpoint the website that certain people that were in the network went to so that that's that's always a cool thing to know Okay, once everything is finished uh, expanding and installing what it needs to do, you could uh, have two options, either continue testing or restart now. Um, for this video, I'm just going to do a restart now. And the system is going to reboot now, so I guess I could uh, actually go to my settings and remove the CD. Okay, so I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna re remove this guy. Uh, let me force it. Now the BT login is root and the password is just root backwards so it's T-O-O-R and then if you want to get into the uh, GUI uh, it's start X and it will load and you're in. Over the next episode I will navigate a little bit around uh, the operating system and show you a couple of tricks and tips 
and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video um, many more is gonna come I want to show you guys how this stuff works and uh, please subscribe to my channel and check out my my blog at bjtechnews.wordpress.com to get the reference link of where to download this as well as um, other little tips and little little stuff that I might put in my blog. Uh, thanks for watching guys and hopefully I catch you guys on the next episode. Thank you. Subscribe! Thank you.